talk to you about the second unit of common core geometry known as similarity and just quickly walk you through the basic objectives outlined by the um, common core standards and just kind of help you to understand how they connect together and, and flow in one big picture. So the, we begin with the non-isometric motion of dilation. Dilations lead us so naturally into similarity. Uh, it's a, it was something we missed before when we taught this in the, in the past. We just didn't ever really connect dilations to similarity. And here, this is the foundation now. As we dilate things, uh, the properties of dilation hold uh, parallel lines and fix the angles and sides and pieces are proportional and all those good things. So dilations is a big part of how we set a foundation for similarity. We then move to similarity and similarity transformations, which are rotation, reflection, translation, and dilation. Notice all of those are uh, similarity transformations. They preserve angles, they preserve shape. Then we move from there to the standard, th uh, standard criteria of AA, SAS, SSS, proportionality uh, from a transformational point of view. Again, back here, our definition of similarity is they're similar if one can map onto the other using a single or series of uh, similarity transformations. We do our normal thing with the side splitting theorem, proportional parts, the angle bisector theorem. Then we bridge similarity to trigonometry using the, the typical items, geometric mean, beautiful uh, relationships of similarity and then also, of course, special right triangles. They help us greatly uh, establish later things that we're going to want to do with special right triangles, but here they're a beautiful bridge of similarity and how fixed ratios exist in triangles. We then move to, of course, trigonometry, the sine and cosine cofunction. Uh, they are uh, complement angles, give them equal value between sine and cosine word problems. You'll notice after that stage is an honors only area and so depending on what you're teaching you can depend uh, decide whether you're going to continue on or finish up here. Honors will continue to look at finding area using the sine uh, ratio and then we will derive and use the law of sines and the law of cosines and we will apply them and use them in many different applications. This is a beautiful unit. It flows as it's numbered. It makes great sense and it's all built on dilations.